Hey guys, today we got this John Deere lawn tractor behind me and it's only clicking when I turn the key to start it. So I suspect that the starter solenoid has gone out. So we're gonna replace the starter solenoid and get this thing going again. Let me show you exactly what it's doing. This is a John Deere LT160 and I bought this used and it runs great. It's just kind of beat up, but it runs great. But it's always started slow. It's raining, you can hear the rain hitting the metal building. But what's happening is, is the starter solenoid is right here. Battery cable comes down, goes into the starter solenoid. And then that in turn goes down to the starter, tells the starter to turn over. What happens is when I turn the key, it just clicks. And if you put your finger on it, when you're turning the key, you can actually feel it clicking inside. So what I did is I bought a new starter solenoid. So the solenoid that I actually bought is actually a John Deere part. There's a starter solenoid there. It comes with various wire connectors and nuts and washers. And the John Deere part number is AUC10907. And this starter solenoid kit is used on most of these John Deere lawn tractors. When I was ordering it, I saw that this starter solenoid kit was for like 50 different models of lawn tractors. So um, it was $21 shipped and we're gonna throw it on. So the first thing we gotta do is get this battery out of the way so that we can get down here to the starter solenoid. So um, just to remove the battery, you disconnect these two connectors right here, pull those terminals off, and then remove this bungee rubber cord and then just pick the battery up and remove it. So let's pull that out real quick. Okay, so to disconnect those, it was just a 3 8 inch nut. Just pulled that off the stud and then took it off of the terminal. Same thing over here. Now this bungee cord is just, pull it out of there and then take the battery out. And now we have access to starter relay down there, starter solenoid. Okay, so I removed the starter solenoid from right here, these two 3 8 bolts. Just these two 3 8 inch bolts right there. And now the solenoid is disconnected. And you can see the replacement solenoid. It's pretty much the same. So all I gotta do is disconnect the wire going to the starter and the wire going to the battery, reconnect those on these two terminals, and then unplug the black wire and the purple wire and plug those into here and then reinstall it right here onto the frame down here. Reconnect the battery and go. So let me swap this over real quick and I'll be back with you. All right, so there's the old solenoid off. And there's the new solenoid all connected. On the battery side, you've also got a second wire this small black wire right here. So make sure you get that back underneath there. That's on the battery terminal. And this is the starter terminal. So now we're just gonna bolt this back up to the frame with those 3 8 inch bolts that I took off earlier, reconnect it to the battery. All right, so my starter solenoid is back on with the two 3 8 bolts, one there and one on the bottom. When you get this back on, make sure that your wires are routed correctly, make sure that they're facing opposite of each other so that this one's going, you don't want them facing, you know, straight out like this because then you won't, uh, you won't be able to connect it. So make sure your battery terminal is going straight up and your starter terminal is going straight down. Um, if you don't, you'll have a hard time getting that bolted back up and you'll quickly realize that it's uh, not right. So now all that's left to do is hook the battery back up Set the battery back in there, hook it back up, and fire this puppy off. Well, we're all back together. 
everything's connected. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Well, we got the same problem. So the starter was turning real slow. It was going and then it would start. So I wasn't sure if it was the starter or the solenoid, but the solenoid was clicking. That was the cheapest thing to buy. That solenoid was $21, but it was also 13 years old. So now I'm gonna move down the starter line and get to the starter. You gotta remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and I'll put a new starter on and that should fix our problem. We'll have a new starting system. All right, so I removed the two 10 millimeter bolts and disconnected the uh, red wire from the starter solenoid. And I noticed straight away when I took it off, this Bendix was stuck in the up position like that. So what happens is when you energize the key and power gets down here to the starter, it thrusts this Bendix up and those gears right there connect with the gears in the flywheel up here and it turns the motor and fires the motor off. And then when you release the key, that disengages. So this was in the gate in the engaged position. So this was turning the whole time the flywheel was turning. So I don't know if possibly that broke something down inside of here, but this is a, again, a 13 year old starter. And uh, so I bought a new one, $38. So I got $59 in the whole system. All right, so here's the new starter. All you do to put it on is just put it down inside of here. Set it up there. You got that collar right there. Collar goes around. And those just screw right in. Reconnect your red wire. Put your boot back on so it doesn't ground on anything. And that should fix it. Another job that wasn't too hard. Um, $21 for a starter solenoid, $38 for a starter. The only other system component is the key. I didn't need a new key. So 59 bucks, I got a whole new system. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.